All right, when you sprinkle this on your food, we're talking about just normal salt. You're thinking, well, it's going to make my food taste good, right? But you're probably not considering its impact on your thyroid. So that's what we're doing this morning. Naturopathic physician Dr. Jared Scourin is here this morning. Good morning to you. Thanks for hey, coming Karen in. Lee. Thanks for having me. I'm a salt fan, so this caught my attention. Uh, but it turns out that this is something we need to start thinking about more and more because we're having some numbers going in the wrong direction here. Well, exactly. And the FDA just announced some new guidelines that uh, for, for different food companies to start to reduce the amount of salt that they put in their processed foods because the amount of salt in processed foods is extreme. So high. It's ecstatic. Yeah. So they need to start cutting back. But people who do avoid processed foods might be avoiding salt at home. It's important to get the right amount of salt in your diet. And the right kind of salt, right? Because you looked at the salt that I grabbed just from our kitchen here at NBC yep. Connecticut, the salt you brought in. Exactly. And it doesn't have a crucial thing in it. Right. And that crucial element is called iodine. And so iodine. Oh, we need iodine. We need iodine. Okay. Iodine is the number one mineral that helps our thyroid do what it needs to do. And so people who don't get enough iodine in their diet, if they're avoiding salt or they're eating salt, especially sea salt, which is really popular now, if it doesn't say it has iodine on the label, then it doesn't have iodine in it. No iodine, no thyroid hormone. And you start to get symptoms of hypothyroidism or slow thyroid. And let's talk about some of those because people may be thinking, oh, maybe this affects me. I didn't think it did, but let's, let's list some symptoms. It's, it's up to 20% of the people in, in our population. So you need wow, to look for the that's symptoms. that's high, right? It's very high. Yeah. So if you have weight gain or you have problems losing weight, or if you're tired or you're sluggish, you have dry skin, you start losing your hair, especially the, the outside of your eyebrow, you're mm. constipated, and you start to have mood changes, especially depression. These are all symptoms of hypothyroidism. So if you're starting to feel any of these, it's time to get your thyroid tested. All right, so that's what I was going to say. What do you do if you think, mm, wait a minute, I'm, I'm right. showing up on this list more than I want to be. Right. Uh, you go to your doctor, you say, I'm suspecting this is the case, and there's a simple test? There are. There's simple blood tests to run, but you want to make sure you get the entire thyroid tested. Now, the most okay. common test that most people get is called TSH, and that stands for thyroid stimulating hormone. It's the most common test that's used, but it actually doesn't test the thyroid. It tests a hormone that comes from the brain that tells the thyroid what to do. So that lab might be functioning correctly when your thyroid's not. So the additional labs we need to order are called T4 and T3. That actually measures your thyroid hormone, as well as thyroid antibodies. This tests for a condition called Hashimoto's, number one cause of hypothyroidism. Right. And most importantly, you can monitor the level of iodine in your body because there are chemicals that we get in our food and our water that will leach iodine from our body. So get your levels tested. Are there other ways that you can get iodine aside from salt? If people are thinking, I'm still nervous about having salt, I've been sure. told by my doctor not to have it. Yep. How else can they get iodine, which obviously is crucial? It is, it is crucial. Just like most vitamins and minerals, we need the right amount for our body to function. Right. Uh, if, if you're concerned about the salt, you can start eating foods that are high in iodine. And the foods that are highest in iodine are things like seaweed, or the seaweed that you wrap around in sushi, uh, but you also can just take vitamins of iodine. Now, some multivitamins contain iodine and some don't. So if you take a multi, make sure you check your label for iodine, or you can get an iodine-specific supplement. So if there are problems uh, beyond things that diet can help out, um, you know, there, there are treatments for this? There are things that your doctor can do? Well, exactly, and, and it's just over-the-counter different vitamins or getting it in your food is actually more beneficial than the vitamins. Right. It's easier absorbed. It's easier uh, entered into the thyroid. So it's it's easy to fix, but you need to get tested to know that there's something going on. All right. Important stuff for all of us, obviously. All right, yeah. Dr. Scowan, thanks so much thanks, for coming Karen. in. Interesting talk.